Okay, so we've had a, a quick review of the, let's see, the micro worlds environment, and we took a look at um, logo in a browser and uh, code sculptor. There's just a couple other um, things I wanted to mention about um, the code sculptor environment before um, moving on and starting to get into coding some more. So, um, First of all, you you have seen this this piece here where we um, run um, our code by clicking this button. You notice when I click on it now, you don't see anything changing over here um, because it's just repeating what it uh, you know the the it's it's doing print hello world. What it actually does is it clears it off and prints it again. If you want to clear out what's in the um, in, in the console area here, what you can do is uh, click this reset button and that'll clear it out. And then when you say run, it'll show up again. But actually, when, whenever you run something, it does clear it out and run the whole thing again. I'll show you if I say here, um, print, uh, print hola, hola mundo. And do that, then you see both of them come up. But um, the the clearing up is an option, um, and we'll get into some of these other buttons uh, in uh, later videos. Then there's also this documentation section where you can go and um, look through a whole bunch of different documentation on Code Sculptor. Um, also, um, you don't see on here all the um, these kinds of uh, things that you have in micro worlds for like plopping a turtle on the screen and and that kind of stuff um, but you can do um, uh, you know graphics and 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 game building and stuff like that with um, code sculptor just to show you a couple of things here's a, a draggable map magnifier um, if I run this you can drag this map, uh, the magnifying glass around on the map. Or there's, um, get rid of this one, let's see. There's like a Tetris game here. It's got sound effects and everything. You can play it. So you get the idea that there are there is real there are there there are real gaming stuff you can do. Um, it general in general it takes a lot more work to do stuff in um, uh, Code Sculptor than it will in Micro Worlds, but you get a lot more control over what you're doing. Um, and oh, also there's um, another popular environment for coding in Python is called Idle that you might have heard of, you might have worked with before. Um, and in Idle and in a lot of other Python um, development environments, you can use um, something called Pygame to build your games with. Um, it's a it's just a set of libraries that make it easier for game building. Um, Code Sculptor doesn't have Pygame. It has something called Simple GUI that we're going to be using in this course. But there's a um, there is a pathway once you've created stuff in, you know, Code Sculptor with Simple GUI. There's a way to put it into Pygame, um, and there are some minor differences between um, Code Sculptor and Idle, but oh, you know, or, or, or you know, maybe some other versions of Python, but they're they're pretty minor. We'll bring them up as they as they come up, um, but in in all, I just wanted you to see that um, you know it's a it's it's a real development environment. You'll get to do real stuff, and you will get to build uh, games in this environment. 